So, you got your I-20. Finally, you've got a visa appointment. And now you're wondering, how do I start my interview preparation? Well, this video is a great starting point and it will help you kickstart your F1 interview prep. So keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the F1 visa process. We have an entire playlist for the fall 22 intake and these videos have been helping a lot and lot of students. So make sure that you check it out. Today's video is all about the starting point for your F1 visa preparation. So the F1 visa preparation should be a structured plan process and especially this year with slots being really limited and people with rejection finding it difficult to give an interview again, it's really really important that you prepare well for the interview and smash it in the first attempt itself. So in this video, I'm going to be covering three important points which are the starting point of your F1 visa preparation and I'm also going to be sharing some of the questions which are being asked in each of these three areas. And all these questions are from recent F1 visa experiences and recent F1 visa interviews. So let's get started. So the first point that you need to prepare really well for is your course. In fact, this is the most important part of your entire F1 preparation. The course that you're going for in the US, the masters, the bachelors or the PhD should be the starting point of your F1 preparation. So look at the course curriculum really, really carefully. Look at what are the subjects offered. Make sure that you know how many credits are there in the course. What are the course subjects? What are the electives or the concentration subjects? And also check if the course has any specific track or any specific concentration. Now, the course details are usually available on the university website but there are some universities who don't like to disclose the exact course structure. In that case, feel free to contact your admissions office and ask them to send you the graduate handbook or to send you the undergraduate handbook or to just send you a PDF which has all the course details. But this is mandatory and I would recommend each and every one of you to have the entire course details with you. This will help you in answering not just questions which might be related to the course but also in other areas such as why this university, why do you want to do this program, so on and so forth. Now let's look at what are the recent questions being asked in F1 visa interview which are related to the course. So these are the questions which have been asked over the last one month basically in the fall 22 interviews. What are your first semester subjects? What are the subjects in your specialization? Which courses are you really excited to take? Which courses are you interested in? And which are the courses that you don't really like or you're not so excited about? They've also asked students to describe about your course, which means that the VO wanted complete details of how many credits is the course, what are the course subjects, what are the specialization subjects, and so on. By the way, if you're wondering where am I and where is this video coming from? Well, I'm currently in London and this is a beautiful park called the Regents Park. And we are here today spending about um, actually we came here to spend half a day but it's almost like five o'clock right now so we've pretty much spent the entire day here and I thought this is a great location to shoot a video so well here is the video now getting back to our topic for today the second point which you need to be really well prepared when you're starting off with your F1 visa preparation is about your university and many times I feel that students leave the university prep for the last so they do everything with respect to the course, everything with respect to the funding but they completely ignore the university side and in the last few months there have been a lot of interviews which have started with the question why this university and sometimes even ended with that so it's really important to have specific points prepared for justifying your university now we actually have a detailed video which explains how you can go about this entire process so I'm going to link this video right above uh, make sure to check it out and this video will help you in framing specific answers for why this university. Now, coming back to the interview experience, here are the questions which have been asked recently. First one, how did you come to know about this university? Second one, why this university? Third one, there are so many, uh, so many uh, universities in US which offer a similar curriculum. Why did you choose this one? So this is again from the recent interview experiences. By the way, if you're still here, still watching the video, do give this a thumbs up and do let me know which university you're going for. So in the comment section below, comment the name of your university. This is also a great way for you to connect with other people who might be going for the same university as you. So yes, do comment below and let us know. And the third important preparation point that I want to talk about, and I think many of you saw this coming, is with respect to funding. So when it comes to funding, it's important to have not just sufficient funds, but also to present it correctly. 
So we have a detailed video again on funding which explains how you can go through the entire process. So make sure to check it out. And in the description box below, you'll also find a financial document checklist. So you can download that and make sure that all the documents mentioned in that are being prepared for you. But in this video right now, I want to share one really important check that you can do to uh, see if you have sufficient funding or not. And that is to check how much of liquid funds you have. So look at the expense of your course and parallelly look at how much liquid funds you have and do a comparison of the two. So if you're going for a master's program, the liquid funds that you have should be at least 1.5 times of your first year expense. And if you're going for a bachelor's program, the liquid funds should be at least two times of your first year expense. So this is a hygiene check. This is the minimum amount that needs to be in place. In case your funding, your liquid amount is lesser than that, then please do a recheck on the funding. You can also reach me. You can also take a one-to-one -one session with me to discuss in depth about your funding and of course the rest of your profile. Now coming to the questions that are being asked with respect to funding. And these are the questions. Uh, who is your sponsor? What is the annual income of your sponsor? What does your sponsor do? How much savings and investments does your sponsor have? Does your sponsor own any real estate assets or any other property in the country? And there are also some questions which have been asked with respect to the loan. What is the rate of interest of the loan? Why did you go for an unsecured loan? And what percentage of the loan do you plan to use? How do you plan to utilize both the loan and the savings? So this essentially is the three important points that you need to keep in mind when it comes to your F1 visa preparation. In the description box below, you'll also see an F1 question bank. And this is a complete question bank of all the fall 22 questions. So again, use this as a reference for your interview prep. So if you're just starting with your F1 visa preparation, I hope this video has given clarity on what are the topics that you need to keep in mind. And like I said, there are a lot more in-depth videos available on the channel. So feel free to browse around to check out the video. And for an in-depth prep, you can get in touch with me for a one-to-one -one consultation session. This session is useful for answer structuring, framing the answers, clearing all your doubts. You can also take a mock session and the mock session will help you get practice. We can check whether your answers are correct, whether they're sounding right. We restructure the answers for you. And of course, we also help you in clearing your doubts and getting ready. And for the fall 22 intake, we have a special seven day program. And this is an in-depth program, which or rather an end-to-end -end prep program. It starts with the DS 160 form and covers everything till your mock interview. So details of all the good stuff is mentioned in the description box below. So make sure that you check it out and do take a look. And for any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. That's all for today. Signing off for now. Signing off from sunny London. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.